Hello, welcome to my channel and my 10 minute process videos making the cards for the December 2020. Show us your sheet load. Here is another look at Alicia's sketch. There's plenty going on. This is a landscape style card and several pieces of patterned paper. And we have a decorative piece of cardstock here. I used my decorative scissors. And the corner is rounded off on this one. So it's going to be lots of fun. I was going to use some pattern paper that I'd had for a couple years, but then I got my farmhouse Christmas box from Club EP. You can see the unboxing video at the end screen of this one. It was too pretty not to use. So I just had to cut it up and we're gonna have a lot of fun with it. Here are all my pieces. I also rounded off what I'm going to be using for the sentiment. But, because I have all these wonderful embellishments from the kit, I may be using some of those. We'll see. Here are my cards, my card bases. I made four craft ones because I have this wonderful paper here that I think it would go really well with. And then the rest are Five of them are white. Total of nine cards. As usual, I cut everything off camera because it saves me some embarrassment because I'm, I'm terrible with measurements for some reason. And it'll save you some time. But historically, it takes me about 10 minutes. So we'll just add that on. Okay, let us get started. 10 minutes. Um, let me get out my... I always want to have a backup of adhesive. I got my combo refills today, so... Make sure we have that ready to go. Okay, 10 minutes on the clock. Okay, so we're going to start by putting the five and a quarter by four pieces on first. And per usual, this 12 by 12 paper from Cortabella has two sides. So it was hard to decide which side to use. I like their paper. It's got a nice feel to it and thickness. So I picked snowflakes. Potted Christmas trees and the white poinsettias. I'm gonna do one of one of these in craft. And that got a beautiful plaid on the back too. And there's that one. And we'll do the rest of the trees with the white cord base.
And then these will be craft because of the beautiful wood grain, which as you know, I love wood grain. I think most of us do. These poinsettias are just lovely. I may add a little bit of shine to these later with Wink of Stella. We are almost done with this part. going to put the rounded, let's see, the bottom piece we're going to leave it non-rounded Yep, there we go. I knew it. I was getting close. So I just take this little insert out and pop it in like so. This is the Tombow Permanent Adhesive. There is always artistic license involved, especially when it comes to putting these together.
How are we doing? Oh, pretty good. Two minutes. And then we will start piecing the rounded corners. Let's see. Um, yes, yes. I have to look at the sketch. So we have this one. Okay. It's moving along quite well. I think this is a really cute design. Alicia does a great job of all of them. And if you would like to sketch for yourself, make sure you have subscribed to her channel. And I will be more than happy to put that in the description box. It really helps, especially this time of year, to have a good sketch to go by. of course, we also want to make more personal cards, too. Uh-oh, where's my third? Oh, dear. Am I missing one? Oh, man. Oh. I hope I didn't glue two on by accident. Oh, it looks like I'm missing one. Nope. No, yes. I am missing one. Okay, time ran out on me, and I will have to go ahead and cut another piece because that one is missing. But so far, this is what we have. We have one, two, three, four, six cards. Six cards well on their way to, to being finished and with the sentiment and the uh, decorative piece to put on. And then these three still need these pieces. And I will cut another piece and we will continue next time. Thank you so much for joining me and you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.